Okay, hey guys, it's TV like us in New Three again here. Yeah. And uh I have failed recording this cuz I either made a mistake or put something in there that I didn't want to. So I failed this already like four times. But let's get on with it. So the, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 95 on VirtualBox. Now, right off the bat, you'll obviously know you're going to need VirtualBox to do it. So you want to uh provide you a link in, in the description for VirtualBox. And if you already have it, that's great. That's great for you. But if you don't have it, you're going to download it. And once you finish downloading it, or if you already have it, go ahead and click on VirtualBox. So let's open it. Uh, that's my last thing. But and once you open it, you're going to click New. I'm going to name this Test. You can literally name it anything you want. You just have to make sure the type is Microsoft Windows. And this is Windows 95, the version. Next, depending on what you what you're installing, create a virtual hard drive. Make sure it's VDI. I recommend to use that because it's like the best one. Dynamic allocated, and this will not work if you put it any more than two gigs, because like the Windows uh, Windows 95 will not recognize that kind of hard drive if it's more, if it's more than two gigs. So, let's create it. And then once you, once that's created, you're gonna go ahead and click on settings. You're gonna go to display. Actually, no, go to system first. And I'm going to use the actual disc. You can either use a floppy disk or a CD DVD. I have the actual disc, so I'm just gonna use that. And but if you don't have the disc, you're gonna uncheck that. But I do. If you don't have a floppy, which I don't, then you're gonna uncheck that. Basically, uncheck what you don't have. So I'm gonna check floppy. And I will provide a floppy IMG file in the description of boot disk. And after that, go ahead and storage. I'm not using floppy, so I can remove that. Um but if you're using floppy, go ahead and uh choose add the um file to it, which I'm just gonna show you how. You create a floppy controller, go ahead and do that. You're you're gonna put on add floppy controller, then you're gonna actually no. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna click on choose disk and choose the boot disk. Choose it. But since I don't have it, and if you don't have it, you're gonna click on this empty thing. And click this little disk here, and choose your host drive. It won't be FG for some of you. Maybe it will. I don't know. But that's just mine. And we can click. Oh, go ahead and click on OK. Mm. I've already started to think I've put in this in much too much detail, so let's see. Go ahead and press enter. Enter and I do actually I'll press enter. I do actually put everything in a little too much detail, but that's what I need to do. I mean it's live commentary, so and it's a how to video especially. Go ahead and press enter once it does that. Okay, I'm already here. I usually don't make it past this point, which I failed one of the those times because I did something wrong. Um, I'll do that. Uh, always click yes. Collecting information. Okay, next. Yes, click that. If you want to do another decor, you obviously click that. God, my house is cold. Okay, I'm gonna choose custom, but you you can really choose anything you want to. Something's wrong with this. Okay. Next. Okay, I'll be right back once I go find my prod product key. All right, I got it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in there if that works. No, that does not work. So I guess I'll just go back to it. Let's see, I keep it in like a certain place so I know where it is all the time. The serial number, run number, pause it if you want to copy it down. So it is. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Okay, I got it. And let's click next. Yep, it worked. I'm just gonna name this test, 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 inc. Just cause I feel like it. Next. Uh, I want to modify it. No. Yes. You can modify it if you want to, it doesn't really matter. Uh 
next. All right, it's at a hundred, and I'm just gonna check none of those because they most likely won't work. Okay, right off the bat, I'm just gonna uncheck that, so I don't want it. Anyway, it wouldn't work either way. So always select Windows Logon, no matter what there is. Always select it, or else it won't work. Next. No, I don't want to start up disk. You can choose any one, just that's what I'm going to choose. Copy one of those nice five files. Preparing to copy files. I like that little drum thing. Because the Windows 7, Windows 8 is just a little circle. Circle. Just, it's just a circle. And Windows Vista. And on Windows XP, it's usually like a little hourglass. Whatever. I'll be right back when this is done. All right, it's almost done. Um, but it goes pretty fast, so. Okay, now it's gonna finish. Okay, so to do that, press the right control key to actually get out of the little thing. I wanna uncheck that. Okay, it's gonna restart. I didn't actually read that last time, so that was another problem why I had to quit it. This is this is getting on my nerves. Okay. I don't think I would have a plug and play devices. It's 2014, not 1995. Name, test, you know, what? Okay. Let's do default PC. Default. Lol. You know. LOL close okay now let's enter the disk again okay I'm just gonna click cancel on that now I'm I'm pretty sure and it's most likely that won't happen to you at a little XMD thing file but if it does just click cancel Okay, now I'm going to choose Eastern Time because that's my time zone. Click apply. I don't want a printer. Okay, now I need to restart. I'm going to actually wait for that to complete. And if it opens up the setup again, then you're going to need to disconnect the. Okay, yeah, it opened this up. Devices, CD, DVD devices. Or if you if you have a floppy, it's a. Div Floppy devices, then you uncheck the floppy. But. Exit setup. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna restart. Reset. And this will not happen to you. I'm definitely sure it won't happen to you. If it does, you just click, do what I do. Press any random keys, just press a bunch of random keys. And if it takes a long time, then just keep on pressing different keys. It might take a long time because it did for me, but I just paused it and then I went back. Okay, and there you go. Let's go ahead and close that. And here is Windows 95. So, hope this helped with your I don't know why you would want to install this but I don't know maybe just to like look at it um but yeah so thanks for watching guys hope this helped you and hope you enjoyed stuff crap like that so like that on good programs calculator 999 times 999 or 9999
Okay, I think that's right. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See ya. All right, hey guys, it's CP Black Ops number three. Um, for about a couple.